problem is that government agencies do not care about poor people. And if those poor people are also minorities, they care less. Trucks and trains from all over the United States and Mexico came to Winona to dump their deadly contents into the commercial deep injection wells. It was then left to migrate under the lands, farms, ranches, schools, and homes for miles in all directions. The facility processed nearly every chemical known to man. No fruit orchards were ever planted, not even a single fruit tree. Neither of us have seen an animal well, deformed, head, and uh, shaped such as this animal here. We were the black family closest one tenth of a mile from that plant, but anybody, did anyone ask us? We were fighting for our babies. Who asked us not to reveal their identities for fear of losing their jobs at Gibraltar. We were just pressured to get the loads out with no regard to the safety of the employees. As far as we're concerned, let them sign our demands. Gibraltar Chemical Resources does a $3 million per month business, accepting the toxic leftovers of a modern society. The waste travels inside a cement encased pipe to a cavern 5,300 feet below the earth. On the way, it passes through an aquifer that provides water to more than 400 Texas communities and water supply companies. care of my face. If I don't wake up and take care of my face about every two and a half or three hours, then it blisters. It turns into big blisters. Well, I had a boyfriend in my late teens through my early 20s named Jimmy Green. He became very sick in the course of our relationship. He would tell me all the time, there's something wrong about where I grew up. There are too many sick people but he died right away. It was fast. I just fell asleep one night and I had been thinking about going to Gilmer to visit his grave and maybe taking a look at how many people have died there. I dreamed that I went to Gilmer or out to the area and that I found this huge story. I went to the computer and that very day, the front cover of the Gilmer Mirror was your book, Fruit of the Orchard, and the whole thing about Moses. And, and then I, I started looking up mortality rates compared to population, and then I noticed there was gaps in information on a website that is standard for all the cities. What makes Winona important is that it is the prototype. They say there was no precedent set legally, but there's still a precedent set socially. The point of today is twofold. One, we just want the folks in this community to know that the EPA is going to hold a meeting that is one of its kind in the entire nation, and that meeting is going to be held in the heart of their neighborhood. Um, the other goal in today was that part of this air toxic standard, it's really complicated. The other part of the standard is a health, uh, a residual risk standard that's talking about health. And the Clean Air Act has set that only one case of cancer in one million people is acceptable as a result of exposure to air toxics from petroleum refineries. The EPA has put into their NESHAP standard, the National Emission Standard for Hazardous Air Pollutants, they've said that people living in close proximity to a refinery, instead of only one case in one million, it's acceptable for there to be 100 cases in one million. So they're allowed to have 100 times as many cases of cancer for the folks that should have the greatest protection. And the only, the only explanation that I've been given is because the EPA does not believe that when in existence near to refineries that those communities are long-term established communities. They think if anybody's living near to a refinery, they're just there short-term, it's a transient community, or else it's just desert or wasteland around there, and nobody actually lives there. So they don't have to set a health standard for the area immediately around the, around the refinery. 
the paper mill for years had dumped their wastewater into the river, probably two or three hundred yards from his house. We believe that uh, the survival and the good health of one human being, a domestic animal, cat or dog, is more important than the profit of any large corporation. That's what we believe. The companies believe differently. They believe that they could sacrifice our health, sacrifice where we lived at for their benefit. And they had the law on their side. Yes, we can. 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 Y